What? 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 What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, man. Everybody know who this motherfucker is on YouTube. On Onision, is that his name? Onision. This is the this is the same motherfucker that actually told me to go to another site to contact him. This is the same fucker that told me to go to the the another site to talk to him. Okay, motherfucker. And uh. But I'm going to say this, man. I saw videos about him getting all upset about his old lady divorcing his ass. Yes, I got the looking boy video song playing in the background. But it's like this. You're getting pissed off because your old lady left your ass and divorced you. And you say you got to pay all this money. You got to pay all this money, $1,200 or whatever. That it's hard for you to make money and all this net, dude. Grow the fuck up, get a life, build a bridge, get the fuck over it. I'm being Afro Joe the Wookie now, but it's like this: you got partners with YouTube. That means you're making all this money. I know you get fatter paychecks than I do. That's because I got AdSense and I don't got partnership with YouTube so you can't sit up here and say oh I can't oh it's hard for me cause I don't have the money motherfucker everybody knows you getting paid good money from YouTube I know because look at you look at your nation look look at you look at your nation look at Shane Dawson Esther Goldberg the Fine Brothers Ali and Charles all these people are getting paid good money yourself is getting paid good money from YouTube and you talking about you ain't got no fucking money dude you need to put that dick out your ass and put the dick out your mouth and grow the fuck up dude cause one thing is I'm sitting up here I watch some of your videos and it really didn't it like I watched it I subscribed to it and I watched some of your videos I thought that was kind of funny but I'm still that, but the whole thing about you saying go to another website just to talk to you that's bullshit but it's like this. It's not. It's not nobody's fault but yourself for your old lady, for your old lady leaving you. That was your fault. And I know that your old lady, your ex old lady, probably got what partnership with you too. And she's making good money now. She's living a good lifestyle because you got that. And she. It, it, if, if she's up to living that lifestyle that you was giving her when y'all was married and she's getting that money from you because y'all divorced now why are you going on YouTube bitching and complaining about your divorce like for real though like are you shitting me are the, like I ain't never in my life ever seen a person a man that got divorced from his wife go on YouTube Benching and complaining, crying like a my little little motherfucker, saying, "Oh my wife left me. She taking up my money. Now I'm broke, and it's so hard. And I can pay good money from YouTube because I got partnership, and I like to get fucked by Shane Dawson." Bitch, quit your bitching. You say it's hard to have money. I agree with my friend. Love to dance. Uh, Love to dance 1981 because it is hard out there to have it when you got a job. When you got a nine to five job, when you click, when you when you clock in and clock out, man, and you work a night like a good 40 hours a fucking week, that's hard. You can bitch complain when you work a nine to five job, but when you do videos on YouTube and you make a fat ass paycheck. And you bitching and complaining talking about you're broke that you ain't got no fucking money that's a motherfucking lie I said man if you was in my if if you was if you was in my neighborhood you bitch and complain like yeah man we will bust your ass we will bust I will bust your ass even I don't even make that much money I will bust your ass 
bitching and complaining about your wife leaving you because of whatever. Whatever she left you for, shit, good, fine, whatever. Good for her. Maybe she got, maybe she ain't, maybe she got some common sense after all where she don't have to deal with your damn silly sissy ass. You probably got Justin Bieber posters up on your, up on your walls in your house or somewhere, or Shane Dawson but naked in your in your house somewhere. But it is what it is, man. Quit being such a pussy. Grow the fuck up and get the fuck on. Because it makes no sense that you gonna come up on YouTube bitching to everybody and they fucking mama about your old lady leaving your ass and she taking half your bank. Taking half your bank. Knowing that you get paid good money. There's no way in hell that somebody's going somebody I ain't never heard nobody just getting paid good ass money bitching so damn much I'm telling you man I, I, and I'm for real man I'm I'm common I'm a common person like I live I ain't rich and famous my name is not even out there like yours uh, OC Nancy son. and you bitching complaining about you waste the money all the way you can Stop paying her if you kill yourself. Look, man, if you got a bunch of 15 year olds, 16 year olds, or teenage pe teenage kids subscribing and following you on Twitter and, and, and supporting you, man, and you kill yourself, you ain't doing them no favor because right, right now there's kids that's in high school and there's teen teenagers and not from 9 to 19 coming out of the closet and you gonna sit up there killing yourself you is not solving the problem you adding on to the problem instead of being a problem won't you be the solution on the suicide on the suicide note because it's, it's unnecessary for you oh I'm gonna kill myself and then you got all these people subscribed to you making and you making all these money I know you live in probably live in a big ass nice ass up scale place too man cause there's no way in hell you gonna be broke man Shit, man, if I had money like you, you think I'd be bitching about my ex-wife leaving me? Fuck, no, I'd be sitting there, sitting up here looking for a new piece of ass to fuck. I don't be up on YouTube. My wife left me. She took my money. Do you hear it? Look, I know Angry Grandpa's got money. I know he's got a partnership with YouTube, but do you even hear him bitching about his old lady leaving him? Fuck, no, he did one video and that was it. One, that's it. He ain't post no more videos about his ex-wife or nothing. And you bitching. You posting videos about your ex. Like, Come back to me, baby. I didn't miss your life. Please. Sign the contract. I won't even want the money. Oh, I love you. So you, you are such a motherfucker, man. If it's, that's how it is. See, this is why I don't think certain people should get partnership or even have that many followers. If they're fucking fucking unstable like he is man I don't think because it, 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 it's it's retarded to see somebody to have all these subscribers have all these followers have all these people supporting him watching his videos get on here and cry and bitch and complain about his wife leaving him taking half his money look that's what marriage is that's what divorce is about that's what divorce is about you fall in love you fall in love with the person that you love you get married now every action there's a reaction see what I'm saying you got married that's an action divorce that's a reaction an action with it with every action there's a reaction marriages don't last forever I know some do some don't it's time for you to grow up man put on your big boy pants Put on your big boy pants. I'm telling you, man. Fucking YouTube partners, whatever he is, making good ass money, bitch, about because he get half his money is going to his ex wife. Motherfucker, you better be glad that's all she taking. You better be glad she take she that's all she want is half your paycheck. Because she could have took your house, your car, your kid. Well, y'all ain't got no kids, so your car, everything from it. That's fucked up. You talking about committing suicide. What motherfucker? For real, dog. 
why would anybody commit like for one thing is you could have been like one of these motherfuckers with all this money where their spouses killed them for the insurance money she, your wife could have been one of them bitches kill you take your insurance insurance money and roll out she could have been fucking Joe Nation Joe Nation on the side or Shane Dawson how you know she even fuck one of the fine brothers she probably fucked with Allie. What's her name? Allie. She probably fucked her husband. She probably she she probably would have fucked fuck any other. You she probably even fucked Fred. She probably even fucked Fred. How you know that she's him? Her and Fred are fucking now. And you bitching about that dude? Grow up, man. There's plenty like that. There, there's plenty pussy in the sea, man. As they say that's why. Well, to me, it's pretty. A lot of fish in the sea, but grow up, man. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? If I was in your shoes right now and I was getting paid that much money from YouTube and my wife left me, I said, yeah, she wasn't good and bad anyway. Let me find another woman to get with. And in five years, we'll go by like that. I wouldn't have to worry about that. After no five years up, man, I can have my money. I can still get earn my money from my YouTube videos put money back and I can do what I need to do but to sit up here and bitch and complain about something that happens on a daily basis of people getting married and divorced divorce rates are high and you're bitching about your wife leaving you about it every minute there's somebody getting a divorce every second every minute every hour every day every week every month every year and to sit up here and do all this crying and boo-hooing and all this and that that you thinking about committing suicide because your wife thinking about took your money it makes no sense that you sit up here and you cry about it it doesn't make no sense. And this is why you're a looking boy. You're digging the booty ass whoever that came out just looking ass nigga. Uh, uh, what? What? We looking at nigga hole looking at nigga with white socks on your toe looking at nigga rat looking at nigga. Will you marry me? Splat looking at nigga whoop go very black looking at nigga. Yeah, you're a looking boy. You're a digging the booty ass looking boy. Man, hole looking at nigga digging digging booty ass. Okay, my jet look at that Ricky. But that's all it is. How do you live with yourself, man? I don't get it, man. See, I couldn't be no, I couldn't be married to. I, I, I feel, I feel sorry for the next girl that you shack up with. I'm for real. I feel bad for the next girl to fall in love with your ass, man, because she would. Like, do you, like, cause one thing is, I don't think the next girl that comes down the line want to be with you anyway, because I've been seeing videos of you bitching and crying on YouTube about your ex-wife. I don't think no girl want to hook up with you, man. A fucking sick ass dog want to fuck you, man. I'm for real, dude. Gonna cry about, gonna cry about my wife left me and shit. Took half my bank, dude. Look. You may be glad you ain't nothing like these big ass celebrities like Alec Baldwin. The pe the ones that make over a million dollars a movie or a million dollars a million dollars an episode on the show. Because them people get get their money taken away from them. Half their shit is gone. Gone to their ex wives. Gone. I can only say one person actually kept his day. I can say this. Only one person got to keep his alimony. That was Hulk Hogan. That's because Linda Hogan fucked up. But. It, it's like this man. You're a grown man crying about. It. You're not in high school anymore. You're not in middle school no more. You're not, you ain't schooling no more. You ain't in school no more. Where you can cry with your girlfriend leaving you for the high school job. You're a grown ass man that just got paper, just got that money. You gotta think about it, man. I got a partnership with YouTube. I got people wanting to be in their commercials. I got sponsors. 
I got the hook up, man. I might be divorced, man. But you know what? There's plenty, plenty of pussy out there for me to fuck. If I was in your shoes, that's what I, that's what thing I would have been thinking. Like, you know what? When five years go by, man. I'd be happy to say I can sit it right back down, man. Give me a new old lady. Hook up and start something, man. Make that paper. But never sit up there and could, never sit up there and say, never sit up there and say it's hard for you to make money. Never sit up there and say it's hard for you to make money because you make making what a a pile like a a lot of money off one video. One video you can get like a lot of view, you get a lot of views on your videos anyway, and you bitch and complain like it's hard for me. You broke. No, people who broke. Are the ones that got two kids, a mortgage, and bills to pay, and got to get braces for their kids' teeth. And that's what you can say you broke. I've seen families where the wife and mother both, the wife and father, the mother and father both work, and they got a mortgage to pay, they got bills to pay, they got insurance to pay, and they and get braces for their kids, and they live from paycheck to paycheck because. That's because the bills are stacking up against them, and you bitching about you're gonna be broke. Come on, dude. Come on. You for real? Are you kidding me? Every day there's somebody struggling to get by with only a, a minimum wage salary, and you talking about you're gonna be broke, and your paycheck comes out bigger than a motherfucker. It'll take. It'll take a guy probably like two or three years to make one of your fucking paychecks or probably even take four years just to make one of your paychecks and you're bitching about how hard it is to make money off of YouTube motherfucker it ain't that hard as long as you're doing what if you know what you're doing as long as you know what you're doing then you won't be you be making that money that ducats I'm telling you, man. I, ooh, Lord. Ooh, Jesus, man. Somebody pray for this boy. Somebody pray for this boy. I'm telling you, man. I ain't never. I, I wonder. No, hold on. Because one thing is, this is funny to me. This picture. You and Shane Dawson look so, so much alike. I wonder if y'all butt buddies. I wonder if y'all related in some kind of way. That's one thing. Because y'all look like y'all brothers or something. Old son. Old son. Ooh, it's, that name sounds like you, like you in a cult. Ooh, son. Ooh, son. Greg is your real name. Okay, Greg. Grow up, Greg. I ain't gonna call you no ooh, son. I'm gonna call you Greg. Greg, grow the fuck up. Grow some balls, motherfucker. Grow some motherfucking balls. Because one thing is, man, if I was, ooh. How come everybody else is making, how come everybody else ain't had a nervous bird? breakdown like he did it's funny I ain't never seen this motherfucker on TV I ain't even seen him in the ad but I can see Tezande all over TV Tezande and Fred talking about it's hard I motherfucker I bet he got that I bet he got this song it's hard I hear for a YouTuber I bet he sings it it's hard I hear for a YouTuber more like it's hard I hear for a motherfucker Damn, digging the booty ass, whatever the KY jazz looking ass. I feel, ooh, I'm tell you, man, I ain't never in my life seen such a pathetic piece of shit that's on YouTube, whining and crying about his wife leaving his bitch ass. Probably got some sugar in your pants. But you do have wet dreams about Justin Bieber and Shay Dawson. I'm sorry, Shane, but some of your videos, you, uh, I don't watch all your videos. Some of your videos I like, some I don't. Let's get out there, but but it's like it is what it is, man. You need to grow the fuck up, man, cause ain't nobody gonna wanna watch none of your shit if you gonna bitch about your ex-wife. Cause that's all it is. Cause one thing is, it's all about keeping. It, even though you're going through personal personal shit, the best thing to handle it is to is to take a break from the YouTube and and take a break and trying to handle it on your yourself man instead of putting it out there on YouTube at John Cooper Public so everybody knows your fucking business cause one thing is if you're letting everybody know your business you're letting everybody use it against you if I was you take a break from YouTube for a while and, and take care
care of yourself instead of going up on YouTube and bitching and complaining about something in your life because it never makes no sense to sit up here and tell everybody about your business and 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 another thing is about me uh, one thing about me is like I see this and I used to be jealous of motherfuckers like him but now since I've seen people like him acting so retarded and stupid and putting out their personal business it kind of makes me think damn I think they I think he's jealous of me not 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 take that back he's not jealous of me he's like damn he makes me sound he makes me look good in a way like he's a YouTube partner a YouTuber and he's make all this money and I'm a kind of a YouTuber I get paid through AdSense and he's making me look good and he's getting the bigger checks. He's getting the bigger checks. I'm getting the smaller checks. And he's making me look good. How does that fucking work out? I'm for real. You two need to be asking us. Do they really want to keep this person. As a youth. As a partner on their staff. Or whatever. Because he had a nervous breakdown. About his. Some personal biz. Personal shit. Because one thing is. I wouldn't be sitting up there. Pitching a bitch about nothing about I want to be pitching a bitch about that in a way I'd be kind of upset that oh my ex old lady's taking half my money but I wouldn't be going up on YouTube to do it y'all probably say you need to stop repeating yourself and the reason why I'm doing all this repeating so people understand something never get up on YouTube and do this kind of shit that's one thing I've been trying to tell me tell people is never post your business out there on Facebook YouTube Twitter Cause this is what can happen. People can use that shit against you, and this is a prime example. Not to, this is a prime example. I'm, the shit I'm talking about. He's putting his personal business out there. People are using that. I bet there's like 50, 50, 50 thousand videos of him talking shit about his old lady, and that's how it is. I've been preaching, bitching, and complaining about this shit now. Since somebody actually proven that I'm telling like T.I. is never put your business out there in the street. It shows that, hey, Afro Joe is right sometimes, but not all the times. But for him to sit here and do this, man, it's really making people think, do you really want to subscribe to him? Do you really want to watch his videos? Do you really want to support him? Because he's going up on YouTube and putting all his personal information out there. Do you really want that? And the question is, do he really want to stick around? Because everybody knows it's your business. It's just like high school, man. It's just like it's just like high school. Everybody knows your business. It's just like everybody. It's just like Mayberry. Everybody knows your business. Don't sit up here and do this kind of shit, thinking somebody ain't gonna say nothing. And it's sad. To, and it's sad as hell that I don't give a fuck if Shane, none of these motherfuckers watch this video and get out butt hurt man at least I'm getting paid I'm gonna say it again I'm getting paid off of this shit same as same as your own girl she's getting paid through her shit and you getting paid off posting up the videos that you and did, her did on YouTube why are you making money off of her that's, that's fucked up I think she needs to be making money off well she probably is gonna be making money off your she is making money off of your ass cause she getting half of your paper but the truth, the truth, the truth is the truth. The facts is the facts, man. Wake up, man, because ain't nobody going to be babying you. Ain't nobody going to be babying you. Ain't nobody going to be holding your hand. Won't you go to Ray William Johnson to hold your fucking head or, or Freddie Wong? Go to one of them and ask, can you hold my hand? Can you, can you hold my hand? Can you hold me? Can you hold me? I want you to go to Nice Eric and see if he... Not nice, Eric. Nice Peter. Why don't you go to Nice Peter and see if he holds your hand? I'm just saying like it is, man. I've seen people. I've seen people that that that, that, that gets paid less. That gets that's on a, 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 a on a, a that's on a, a fixed income. Go through shit like this. I've seen people that got a nine to five job to, to get paid minimum wage. Go through divorces. I've seen a lot of people, there's been a lot of people that goes through divorces that badly. They go through terrible divorces and they never, ever thought in their fucking life to go on national T 
TV or go on YouTube and post up oh my wife left my wife left me and my husband left me they divorced me it's a nasty divorce man he's getting ha he or she's getting half my paper whatever you'll never see that in, in America but to see a man like this this old see who's this Greg motherfucker I'm calling him, like I said calling him Greg fuck that old see and shit Greg you need, you need to see Greg do all this shit I think it's kind of fucked up and I don't think he needs to be doing what he's doing now sitting up here posting about his fucking misery man you need to seek professional help before you end up doing something that you're going to regret. And see, if you got all these damn teenagers subscribing to your YouTube channel and supporting you and digging you and following you, man, to commit to think, talk about, and think about committing suicide, that's actually, you setting them up to think that way too. Because one thing is, teens are, not, teens are already committing suicide in high school and in middle school. And I don't think you need to put add on, add on in it. Any, any more pressure onto that shit. Oh, my favorite YouTuber committed suicide. I'm gonna kill myself. That's you right there, starting a starting a chain line of people committing suicide because of you. Just grow up, man. Just grow the fuck up, man. Ain't nobody's trying to hear that Billy Jack bullshit that you preach, that you bitching about. I said I'm 27 years old and I'm not even thinking about committing suicide. I'm thinking about how to get them fucking paper. Just like how you got your fucking paper. I wish I would was in your shoe. I wish I had partnership. Like you do so so my old lady can take half my bank. Shit, man. If I was, I'm telling you, man, never in my life never thought about man. We ever seen shit like this, man. I I I I I've always been jealous of fuckers that got partnerships with YouTube. But now I see shit like this, it makes me wonder why do I ever get jealous why why should I ever got jealous? Why would I get jealous of people like him? To me, I think they're just pieces of shit. It shows me they're fucking human. They're human. I thought they were just pieces of shit that actually was robots working for YouTube and they had to go by certain guidelines to and kiss YouTube's ass just to get paid. Get paid. Now I see that this motherfucker ain't gonna come in sense. He just dumps a box of rocks, a bag of hammers. And that's all I got to say, man. This is this is Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, then don't. Don't leave a comment. Don't say shit. Just move the fuck on. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe. To, look, up, I'm about to post this video up on my CeeLo Junior channel and my CeeLo Junior three. Look up at the top where the names are CeeLo Junior two or CeeLo Junior three. Look to the look to the next to and hit subscribe and subscribe to me. And then uh, if you like what I got to say, leave a video response or a comment if you like got got something to say about this situation not me but this situation and it cause to me it's bullshit it's just, I smell bullshit because he's full of shit no wonder his y'all this boy need professional help somebody call Dr. Phil man I'm sorry my zipper broke will somebody put something in his mouth please holler at me